one of my favorite memories from a very early reading was a woman named Sheila who came to me hoping to connect with her father and he had the greatest identifier. I said, okay, whatever his name was for Sheila, send me an identifier. And the first thing that popped into my mind was a green pickup truck. It was, it, the way I saw it, it was kind of small, so it almost could have been a toy, so I wasn't really sure. But I started to describe, well, I'm seeing a green pickup truck, and she started laughing, and she said, yes, Dad, I still have your green pickup truck. So that was great. I, and I, then I knew it wasn't a toy, of course. And as the reading went on, there were lots of things like that were really good identifiers. And then he came back to the pickup truck, and he was giving me the idea that there was something about a raccoon connected to the pickup truck. And she couldn't think of a thing. I said, well, like, did he run over a raccoon? Did he pick one up along the road and take it into the woods? I mean, you know, something about a raccoon in the truck. And she couldn't think of a thing. And so we, you know, we let it go, went on to other things. It was a great reading. And about two days later, she called me up and she said, oh, oh, I just remembered what the raccoon thing is with the pickup truck. And she told me that her daughter had driven the grandfather's truck for two years. And the whole time, the daughter had insisted on having on the mirror what Sheila called a ratty old raccoon tail that she was always trying to get her daughter to throw away, and the daughter would never do it. It was a perfect identifier.